All right, morning time for us. As you can tell behind me, we got the uh, greenhouse covered. And um, today we are going to be doing a lot of putting around stuff. Um, let me see if Donald opened up the uh, door here. Oh, he cracked it. I told him to open it. <laughs> All right, so let's go inside. And completely closed in. We just have to secure a couple of boards on the other side, and I'll show you that in a second. Started the uh, potting process. So the uh, cranberry hibiscus is doing great. I have one here that's in a pot. I'm gonna cut it again, because it has grown. Let me show you that. All right, it's in a pot here. I gotta add more soil to it, because you can see the roots are above there, and I don't like that. Um, but it has, grown and we got flowers so i'm going to take a couple of the taller branches do the same thing again put in a bucket of water we have um, a bucket here full of mangoes uh trimmings and then this one here i guess a seed found its way in with this mango tree and it has just um last uh two weeks here it has grown so I'm also going to be cutting this even though it does have flowers on it I'm still we're more we're wanting to get more of those because a lot of people actually enjoy this type of plant the cranberry hibiscus and you can see the ones there are doing great even that tiny little one is still holding on it's not doing good but it's holding on <laughs> so I don't know and then oh here's some that are open look at that Isn't it pretty? Such pretty flowers. And then I'm gonna come around, I'll show you the back side here. Um, we still gotta pick up the, uh, the plastic, but we're gonna use this plastic to uh, lay down inside the nursery to cut back the weeds. Uh, but as you can tell, we just have to put a board down the bottom here. The lowest it got was 38 one night. So, all in all, not bad. All right, I'm gonna go and find Donald. All right, Donald started our next little uh, cardboard burn. Like, uh, we burned the cardboard and then we mix it in with our soil to help with amendments. But one of the chores we're gonna get done sometime today is picking the rest of these radishes. I mean, that one looks like it's about to grow legs. <laughs> Um, but these are just went crazy, just insane. And some of these stalks are just huge. Look at that. So definitely going to be, uh, doing that. The carrots are still struggling. I don't know. We're probably not going to get carrots at all this year. Um, we have... I think that's the bok choy. If I'm remembering right, bok choy. Lettuce is coming up, but it's really been slow. I might have to do another, put more seeds down. That was some of the cilantro that came up. I think these are more carrots. And then we put something, I, I lose track. I have to write this stuff down. I lose it. Uh, buzz button still going good. Butterfly pea is still going good. And there are actually some flowers. It's really foggy this morning. Oh, look at that. You can see the, the spider web full of dew. And then um, I did see some more seed pods. This year, we have not gotten a lot of pollinators. And so these seed pods are not filling out. Um, we have a surprise tomato here. I think 
the way it's looking, I'm thinking that's an Everglade, but I'm not sure because we had all the tomatoes, in, you know, over here. Um, all the stuff we planted here, it's a lot of it's not coming up. And I'm not sure. That is beets. That's the only beets that came up. Um, I'm just letting them go for a little bit longer before I pull them. And then you can see the backside of the radishes. It's just, they're full. Uh, I'm really impressed with the radishes. Um, the baby uh, chocolate bells are hanging on, but they're not producing like they were earlier. And then over here, um, the Asian yard-long green beans are growing, as you can tell. Um, so we'll see if we get any production from them. And then over here, that's what I'm going to show you. With the pineapples, I planted the strawberry spinach in these four tires here. And they're coming up. So I'm just going to let things grow. And then I have a sunflower that popped up there. My borage. Or no, this was Save the Bees borage i still have not looked up the name of this flower i'm sorry y'all <laughs> and then we have another tomato plant here that's growing we're just gonna let it go and uh yeah today's gonna be one of those we're gonna clean the ammo cages first and then we're gonna be putting around yeah because um today i'm going to take care of the cages why uh donald has to come up with a um a separate pen for Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. The other day, Clyde um, was ha was in a good mood and he was hopping and chasing Mr. Turkey. Mr. Turkey got fed up, flew over into Bonnie and Lydia's gate or cage, and uh, whew, it's still cold out. And um, I was like, oh, that's not gonna work. Um, I had to catch Mr. Turkey. That was fun. Not. Hi, guys. Daddy didn't let you out? Huh. We're still in there. Call ducks on the roof. Over there. With the decay. Boy. It was 46 when I checked before we came out here. And it's almost 9 o'clock in the morning. I guess uh, Daddy started emptying out the waters. <laughs> So I guess I'll go ahead and go ahead. There's Donald in the back. I'll show you. Hi, Bonnie girl. Hi, Lydia. <laughs> what? And the... Oh, he's all fluffed out. That's the first time I've seen him fluff. Look at that. So, what are you doing? <laughs> and, uh, we need a dumpster for this area. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Clyde boy. Oh, you're looking the extra stinky. Huh? The guy that had this property before us was an electrician. Also, he was a trucker, I thought. No, no, I'm talking about Jimmy. James. Oh, okay. The guy that had this property before us was an electrician. Also, he was an electrician. So there's tons of scrap stuff here. Oh. Plus, you know, some scrap stuff that I had to. And we've really got to get through and clean this area up. If we're going to turn this into a barn or anything like that. Well, we literally need to take this thing down. It's put together not right. Well, it's pieced together. Yeah, it's pieced together. It's been all scabbed together. I'm going to completely rebuild it. We're just going to reuse the wood. We as need to get it cleaned up before we rebuild it. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fence off another part of this area here. Okay. Clyde, oh, you're going to make it for Clyde? Yeah. Yeah, because he's cleaned this area up really good. Yeah. 
and there's a lot of junk in here we didn't even know about so do you see the white turkey he's all puffed out that's the first time i've seen him puffing so he's feeling better he ended up getting the foul pox again which is it, it is common if they might get re-exposed but uh he's all better now and here comes my stinky boy look at that extra special sense and you, you notice where mrs turkey is don't you yeah we found out mrs turkey has a nest so we put a dog house over it but she's in there laying on some eggs so we're just gonna let her hatch them out hi huh, mr turkey look at you <laughs> mr turkey yeah i'm gonna tear all this down this is gonna be part of the fence i'm gonna just bring it down this edge here probably down to that corner and then over it's gonna be a little smaller pin for him but you'll be able to clean it up faster. Yeah, we just got to double check along um, the neighbor's fence to make sure he can't get through there. Yeah, because remember, there was a tree down. I'm probably going to put a piece over there so he's able to get down to that front. But I'll, I'll make sure the fence is good all the way down along the neighbor. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, the story of the barn. What it was is this property was actually four acres altogether. Um, the people that live behind us, which are back over here, are friends of Donald's. He used to work with, uh, work with them. So they owned all four acres. And uh, they portioned it off um, at the time and gave two acres to um, the family. The barn, the story that we got from the, about the barn here, the pole barn, was uh, somebody in the area wanted the barn gone and they were given away for free, but you had to take it down. So the neighbor plus the gentleman that was living here, which was his brother-in-law at the time, um, went ahead, uh, the brother-in-law was a truck driver. They went ahead, took his rig down to where this was and they broke it down into four pieces. They brought each piece back and then put it put it back together. And I'm gonna show you, I'll get inside here and I'll show you where they kind of like, I mean, it's holding up, but it's not, to me, I always thought it was, uh, but <laughs> we decided that once um, they used it for storage to um, Donald's put some stuff back here, but a lot of it is from the prior people. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to eventually tear this all down and use as much wood as we can to rebuild it with the, the uh, tin and everything because it's all tin on top and make it to where maybe it's only... Um, maybe eight feet tall with a small loft that way we can put hay up in there um and we can have a place for body and clyde to actually have houses or state or stalls to go into especially here in florida you know we get the hurricanes i i want them safe as safe as we can get them um the area pretty much floods behind us and you as you can tell all the saw grass um, when we had Irma, Irma was a really bad rain and wind maker and our property was flooded. Our house was like an island. It just, our house just barely missed the flood line. This was pretty much only flooded a little bit, so it wasn't that bad. And, um, so when we acquired the land, you know, we were like, we didn't really mess with this back area as much. Um, I have to get, we have to get the righty mower fixed so I can start mowing all of that again. Cause we used to, used to keep it all, all together. So 
Let me show you some more of the barn. Let me walk in here. Ugh. As you could tell, it is kind of pieced together. Um, they didn't put, they added extra, they didn't like line up the screw holes, as you could tell. So it does leak because of that. Um, this piece wasn't fastened down, so when the wind blows in this direction, that whole piece folds back. Mr. Spader. Um, and as you could tell, a lot of it was just, it was really put together kind of janky. <laughs> I mean, it's lasted this long, so obviously it's not as bad, but yeah. I mean, that's not even connected there. <laughs> and uh, it looks like it's shifted a little bit also too. We've had two, um, the rafter bottom on that one has rot away, but that's on the end piece. There's one over here that fell and ha hung. This whole wall was already falling down, so we've been reusing the wood to uh, do things with, you know, um, around the house, or not around the house, but the outside, and a lot of electrical stuff, so the siding, um, or that's skirting there, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, you can tell it right there. <laughs> Donald! I'm fine. Yeah, well, we don't need the barn coming down. Yeah, the see. The barn ain't gonna come down. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't guaranteeing that. <laughs> so, we're all just, um, we're just going to take as much down as we can, clean up this whole entire area. Oh, Laura says she wants her, wants these two bikes. Um, she wants to, um, see about uh if any of them are in good condition she wants a bike so i figure isla and laura's bikes are right there from when they were little i don't know it's been a simple years now and uh so we got to bring that up but yeah that's uh the story on this barn or pole barn um it did have all of these up there but that side, it all got blown out with the last couple of storms. As you can tell, there's a corner piece over there that's broken off. Um, yeah, it's just put together any way they could. <laughs> all right, so I am going to uh, go ahead and start cleaning the animal cages, okay, honey? All right. Clyde. What are you doing? <laughs> what you doing, honey? this look a lot easier than what it is. You almost got it. <laughs> you got to keep the blade towards the top of the branch though. If you have it to the side, it's going to bind it. So like this? Yes. Okay. You're almost there. I, I, could... I got faith in you. <laughs> Stay in the groove. I am. This is tiring. Holy <laughs> crap. Oh. 
Oh, hey, look at it. It's, it's going. Yeah. Almost. Doing good. I know it's out of the groove though. Okay, props to my dad. <laughs> All the times I watched him do this. Oh. When I was younger. Okay. I can't stay in the groove. It's a groove thing, groove thing, baby. You did it! Now you gotta get the other branch that you've got half cut. <laughs> Can you give me some water? <laughs> Please? Okay, don't mind the background noise. Luna got out into our neighbor's yard and then ran down the fence line. So everybody over there is all... They saw a dog. Wild, uh. Yeah, so <laughs> wild <up. laughs> So I actually fixed the fence going all the way down to that tree. So okay. That little section there. We is, just don't want Clyde getting out. No, Clyde's not going to get out. The fence is good all the way. Okay. I've got it fixed all the way. And where, where, what was this one? This I found rolled up and buried. You pulled and that out of the, yeah, out of that. Looks like there's another piece over there. I might get enough to do this little section. Okay. And, you know, we we repurpose, reuse everything. Yeah, and we we just gotta remember we gotta go see, and we got a tree down on that fence there. We gotta when we get to that part. Oh, yeah. Where where's the other one at? Oh, I see it. Yeah. It's right there. That might be enough to do from here to there. There it is. Good grief. You know, this is just like little small section pens. Mm hmm So I'm I don't have an issue with using. Yeah, we just got to remember Clyde's going to rub up against the fence line. So the less, we just have to make sure that if he starts rubbing up oh, against I that. I put new nails and all that. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's solid. Okay. And then, um, so you're going to put, yeah, let's, yeah, let's see if you, before you connect this to that, if you want to go over there and see if you can pull the rest of that out. Yeah. That'll be, per that'd be great. I mean, save us time and money. Put a piece through here. Yeah. I'm gonna use the wooden <laughs> fence post here and I'm gonna make a door into this area, probably on that corner. Okay. So that we can get in and out with mm -hmm. no issues. Yeah, well, like I said, I can always get in through the opening there, walk over here. We can hook the food and water on this yeah, side. Yeah, still gotta have a gate. Yeah, I know we'll have to have, to have a gate. Yeah, but he'll we gotta to have a. All this stuff up and eat the stuff down the fence line. You know there. what? Why don't we? Why don't we make a gate right here where that fence post is? Right no, there. No, I don't want a gate in between. Well, well, we might eventually. Yeah, but I mean, then that way we could just keep this one piece here. No, I want to be able to bring him in and out because eventually I'm gonna have stalls in here. Where did she go? Where'd you go, Luna? Luna. She better not be in Fred's yard again. Luna! No, I hear her. She's over here. There she is. You better stick by here. Stop running off. Just because you're the one that listens doesn't mean you have you gotta obey us. You gotta stick You know around. what she's doing? She's running after the lizards. Is that what she's, she's doing? chasing lizards. Yeah, she's a lizard chaser. Yeah. Yeah, this is they didn't use any pressure treated on this interior any stuff. Any of those two by fours, none of it is pressure treated. But the big column ones are, aren't yes. they? And all these on top? Yep. Good grief. Look at that. Oh, this bar needs help. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. This needs so much help. Well, we knew that when we got it. Yeah, we, you know, you know we, we Our went, plans with this, I just had planned on doing this long ago. Yeah, it just, right now... 
There she is. So, yeah, I gave up on uh, sawing the limbs. My neck and shoulders hurt and my back hurts now. <laughs> but each goat, Bonnie and Lydia and Clyde, all both got a big branch of leaves. So they're in there chowing down on yeah. it right now. So beneficial for them. Clyde here. Clyde is going to have more leaves than he knows. What yeah, he he's going to. And I'm, I'm going to like getting Clyde over here. Because mm -hmm. that'll separate them from the females within a pen yeah so we don't have to worry about him because goats can mate through the fence yeah well we knew that so, yeah, so we, we don't we, have to worry about them mating before you know before we're but we are planning on trying to you still want to try to mate bonnie in january yeah i want to do it in january but uh i want to i want that other pen to keep lydia in because we can't we can't let that happen right you know Call Luna, me. don't you dare. Luna. Luna. Where are you going? You cannot do that, Luna. Just because you can walk through a fence does not mean you should. Yeah. She's like, but daddy. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you can't get to me, huh? You can walk through that fence, but you can't walk through this one? <laughs> All right, let me get back to work. Yep. All right, Donald went to go get the clips, but I thought I'd take you guys back here. I've been back here before in my boots. Um, but, you know, we got piles of wood. I guess that's where they tried to tame this. These are vines that we just have to tear down. <sighs> Or cut down like this vine here it's it's part of a system back here but they just go into the trees and then it's like a cut suit um, that vine I don't know if I'm saying it right but uh, they just go everywhere and, and they kill the trees because they suffocate them oh. And eventually we want this area to be used for animals and plants and stuff because it has a nice overhang. We can expand some food foresting in here. Um, but there is another pool liner that they buried. There are more tigers back here that we found. There's a pile right there. Um, we're going to try and get them out later, not right now. Um, but here's that fencing. This fencing actually goes all the way to the corner here. So it was connected at one time, but I'm funny feeling this tree here that broke. Yeah. And it's on the fence line, probably knocked it all down. Um, have to be very, very careful because some of these vines have thorns, big old thorns. I am not going to go into that. But yeah, there is another pool liner. There's also um, some metal scrap over here. There's a cooler. It's just, um, and then this butts up. Oh my goodness. That's the neighbor's emu. <gasps> no way. Okay. I'm going. Uh, let me try. He's there. <laughs> Donald's not gonna believe this. Okay, hold on. I'm getting through the vines. Hi, sweetie. Here is the neighbor's emu. Well, hello. Hi, it's like a, hi, baby. They have two. They don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Well, hello. Hi, how are you? This is our neighbors. Um, we're really good friends. We're friends with them. So, hi. You are a handsome boy or girl. Hello. I won't get too close because I know I'm a stranger, aren't I? Hi. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Donald's not going to believe this. Here comes Donald. Oh, and here comes the other one. 
They have two. There he is right there. Donald! You want an emu? <laughs> come through. Don't come through the um, pen. Come through the barn. Hi. You guys are so pretty. How are you? I'm not coming any closer. You want an emu? Be careful. Some of these vines have thorns. Yeah. Hi. I don't think they're going to part with their emu. No, but you said you always wanted one. Yep, they do. Oh. I haven't... I don't... She does not know if they're boys or girls. Hey, buddy. Hi. How you doing? You friendly? Huh? Uh, be careful, honey. You friendly? No. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm staying back here. <laughs> Actually, if you want, I don't know if you could slide this off the fence. This, this will, um, okay. easy. Easy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you guys are great. Yes, you are. See how her fet this one's feathers are ruffled? Be careful, don't this one right here. They are pretty. Yeah, you guys are. You guys are so cold. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. Okay. Just move slow. Yeah. I don't know, he looks blue, so he might be a boy. They might be both boys. Because don't they get blue heads if they're boys? I think they get blue heads from that. Oh, okay. You want to move this log off the uh, fence for me? I'll you step want some back. Not a fan of those? <laughs> you don't like the beauty berry leaves? Here, move this. Uh, it's really short right there. Just move it off the fence line. There's a cooler one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, scared him. It's okay, guys. What are you stepping on? There's something right there. What is that? More trash? More trash. <laughs> yeah. Guess what we got in? Got... Huh. We got a Grubterra in. Oh, we got more Grubterra. Nice. Yeah, the chickens will be happy. Yeah. All right. Clyde is in his new area, and he could not be any happier. Uh, we got the food and water over here that I'll be able to get. We have the uh, gate here. And then he's got all of this plus the little runway that goes between the two fences. But look at that. He's already just, he, he is just eating. Clyde boy! Already in the thick of it. In the thick of it. Hi, Clyde! And we cleaned up as much trash as we could find. Yep, there's your food, there's your water. Hi, Clyde boy. And now we'll um, get Mr. and Mrs. Turkey a waterer in there. We won't need a feeder because I just throw their stuff on the ground. Took us one day to do it. Hi, Clyde. Not even a full day. Just a few hours. Oh, you are so stinky. <laughs> he is so stinky. And Donald, there is a gate right there. Right now, Donald is um, putting an extra tie around. Uh, we're not going to be using it right away, but we want to make sure Clyde doesn't get out. Hi, Clyde. Yep, there's your water. Daddy got some hay in it. Sorry. Huh. And we already put... Uh, Hey, in his bedding. What is it, Clyde boy? Extra stinky. Yes, you are. 
Yeah, he's a super sneaky boy. Yep. You're going to need a shower. Yep. Before we go anywhere. Yep. <laughs> I stink. Oh, yeah, you do. He was rubbing all over me. Yep. You know, you're not supposed to eat the hay. You're supposed to eat the leaves. <laughs> but I think he's content because the first thing he did, that's all he's been doing is he ran in there just eating away at everything so there we go <laughs> rub up against the fence there he goes rub your stink everywhere 